Now from one of baseball's pure treasures, we are in the house that Ruth built, Yankee Stadium, Bronx, New York, as things are shaping up to be a perfect afternoon for baseball. Straight ahead, it's a rematch of the American League Division Series of 2006, as it'll be the Detroit Tigers taking on the New York Yankees. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you as we get set for what promises to be an entertaining ball game. Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler are by my side. And Dave, we turn to you. What's the one thing we can watch for in this one? Well, one guy you always have to be careful of is Johnny Damon. Not only has he always been a great hitter and base dealer, but last year he became a solid power hitter, too, setting a career high with 24 homers. He plays the game right. All right, Dave, thanks. And we'll hear from Rex as we get going. But first, New Era Cap takes us to the starting lineup for the defending American League champion, Detroit Tigers. Leading things off is the young center fielder, Curtis Granderson. After that, Carlos Guillen, the fine shortstop. Gary Sheffield bats third. He's the DH today. In the fourth spot, the dangerous right fielder, Maglio Ordonez. Pudge Rodriguez bats fifth. He's behind the plate. After that, new first baseman Sean Casey. Craig Monroe is next. He's out in left field. Placido Polanco bats eighth at second base. And rounding things out is Brandon Inge. He will play third. And they'll face one of the real breakthrough stories from 2006, right-hander Chen Ming Wong. Wong now in his third major league season out of Taiwan wound up in a tie for the big league victories lead last year with his 19 and 6 record expect to see not a lot of strikeouts but a lot of ground balls if he's got that sinker working the way it should and a look now at the defensive alignment for the yankees behind him ready for baseball in the bronx as curtis granderson steps toward the plate to get this one underway Underway at the ballpark this afternoon as the first pitch is in there for strike one. And the pitch. And he takes a pitch high and away for ball one. And that fastball is not in the spot where the hitter will go chase it. Comes with a fastball as this is lifted the other way out to left center. Damon will take care of this one, and Granderson is retired leading off the ballgame. Well, the thing I like about Damon is he plays an aggressive center field, and by that I mean he puts his head down and goes right for every ball. That's a great running catch right there. Carlos Guillen will be the batter. First pitch on the way. In the air now to straightaway right field. And that's going to fall. Well, he does a good job of staying with the changeup that time and finds his way aboard. So a runner on first with one out now. And in steps trouble in the person of Gary Sheffield. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. And, oh. and now we'll see the infield shift into double play depth right here. He's running towards second. Grounded to third. This could be two. And a throw to Minkiewicz gets him. Two gone. That's a good pitch there. Ran it in on his hands, and he couldn't get extended. Maglio Ordonez will get his first shot at it here. And the runner's breaking for third. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. 
And he will be nailed at third on a questionable decision, to say the least, and the inning is over. This is something of a cardinal rule. You don't make the last out at third base. Not a good idea there. So they get a man to second here in the top half, but he's stranded there. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. New Era Cap again has the starting lineup for the Yankees, and it looks like this. Leading things off is the speedy Johnny Damon. He's in center field. Batting second, the all-star Derek Jeter at shortstop. Batting third down in right field, the former home run derby king Bobby Abreu. Then the always dangerous Alex Rodriguez. He's over at third base. Jason Giambi is in the fifth spot at DH today. Then it's the Japanese import Hideki Matsui. He'll play left field. Behind the plate and batting next, the switch hitting Jorge Posada. Then comes the promising Robinson Cano. He'll play second base. Doug Mankiewicz will bat number nine. He will be at first. And they'll face a guy that seems to have sipped off the fountain of youth, left-hander Kenny Rogers. Rogers last year made the most of his first season in Detroit, and despite being the fourth oldest player in the league, found a way to win 17 decisions and really become the mentor to a young staff that made great strides in 2006. I look there at the Tigers defensively. They're, of course, led by the 12-time Gold Glove winner, Pudge Rodriguez, behind the plate. And now the center fielder, Johnny Damon's in to kick off the home half of the first. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. Diving try there, but he gets past Guillen for a base hit. Well, leadoff man on to start the bottom of the first. And now we'll see if they want to make something happen early and send him in motion here. Derek Jeter will dig in here. Grounded foul off to the right. check from Rodgers now the pitch using the fastball exclusively here it's 0-2 had success with that fastball why not turn to it again 0-2 swing and a hot shot towards the hole a dive but it's off his glove Bobby Abreu will get his first cuts here Starts him out with a fastball too low for ball one. And that catches the outside edge, one and one. One and two now as this catches the outer half. And I'll tell you, these are the kind of pitches he's going to need to keep locating if he's going to be successful. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Big strike out there after allowing the first two batters in the game to reach base. Now he maybe even could shoot for a ground ball and get out of the inning unscathed. Alex Rodriguez will stand in for the first time here. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. And this is hit well towards the hole. 
And that's through into left field for a base hit. The throw home. And safe at the plate as he just gets in ahead of the tag. So they'll draw first blood in this one. That was a good swing. And just like that, they get off to a 1-0 lead here in the first. So first and second with one man gone. And here comes Giambi. First pitch to him. Right there for strike one. And that's exactly where you need to keep the ball against Giambi. He'll kill that pitch when it's middle in. Swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect. Guillen is there and he makes the catch for the out. Well, the infield flies in effect here. That's so the defense won't intentionally drop it and try to get a double play. So it's first and second with two men gone and in comes the powerful Hideki Matsui. Fastball just misses for ball one. And that's just off the corner and low ball two. See if they try and stay out there again. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Throw on to Casey, gets him for the third out as that ends the inning. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. The Yankees are out in front, one to nothing. Magli Ordonez leads things off now in the top half of the second. Here's the first pitch to him. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. and oh. And Maglio's a guy that can reach the outer part of the plate. Great opposite field power. And now this is swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Over for it now is Matsui as he tucks it in for the first out. Boy, left that fastball up that time, but he got away with it and got him to fly out. Fudge Rodriguez will stand in. Low for ball one. And after a very economical first, let's see if he mixes things up a bit. Now the 1-0 pitch. Swing and a ball hit fairly well, heading high and deep toward right center. And a diving effort, but the ball kicks off the right fielder's glove. But he is in there as they can't get him at second. Sean Casey will take his cuts now. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Craig Monroe will get his first opportunity now. And this is off the corner and low, ball one. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and oh. Two-oh on the way. 
And right on it as this is chopped foul to the backstop. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. Placido Polanco would be next. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Thought that might be a pitch he could get on top of. And he takes ball four, so a good job of running the count full and then coaxing out the pass. Yeah, Matt, he made him throw a lot of pitches. That was a great at bat. Placido Polanco digs in at the plate. Nice fastball that time from Wong as he jumps in front 0-1. Ooh, got to be able to recognize that pitch is just going to keep riding upwards. One and one. And Polanco looks at one that misses, and the count goes to two and one. And that's upstairs, running the count to three and one. Swung on and fouled straight back. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. And we'll get a look at this one from above. Boy, no question, that's over the outside edge. He really got jobbed on that one. So our situation has the bases loaded. Two men out. And digging in is the third baseman, Brandon Inge. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0. and oh. And he's not afraid to run pitches inside on hitters. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Oh, and this would be a huge strikeout if he could get it and get his club out of here. As a look, now the pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. Yankees lead this one to nothing here in inning number two. Here's a ball rolled foul. Still two strikes. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. So the Tigers leave him loaded. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Jorge Posada will start things off in the bottom of the second. Now a fastball as this is hit fairly well out toward left center. Monroe is there to take this one and the bottom of the second starts with a one pitch out.
Robinson Cano will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Here's the first offering. Ball one. Hit hard. Foul. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Matt trying to work the fastball in on the label. That was a good pitch. The pitch. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Bases are empty, one man out. Swung on and popped sky high to the right side of the infield. Out number two. Doug Mankiewicz will step in now. Now here's the first pitch. And that misses ball one. Looks like he might be getting squeezed a little bit there. And he falls behind now, 2-0. Now a ball sliced hard on the ground. Picked up there by Inge. Throw will go to the first baseman, Casey, and that will end the inning. So a strong half inning there for Kenny Rogers. And his club's keeping it close. It's one nothing. Curtis Granderson will stand in. He flew out his last time up. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. And that thing just starts out belt high, Matt, and then heads south at the last moment. Yo, guys. And, oh, you talk about getting a pitcher's call. There's one there, and it's 0-2. Two strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. Grounded foul. Here he comes again, one two. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Carlos Guillen will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. And this ball will be chopped foul. One out, nobody on. Down the line. Oh, but just foul. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. 
Gary Sheffield will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. Matsui will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. Johnny Damon will lead off when we return, but they lead it one to nothing. Johnny Damon makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Runs up to Bunt here, but this is going to kick just foul down the line. Now the pitch. Now we'll try to beat one out here, but this will be just foul. Well, that kicks foul at the last moment. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And past the diving infielder, that's a base hit. And have a look. The catcher sets the target down around the knees, but this is a good low ball hitter, and he gets good wood on this one. Derek Jeter will dig in. He singled his first time around. First pitch fastball there from Rodgers as he moves ahead, nothing and one. One of the secrets of his longevity in this game, work fast, change speeds, and throw strikes. Ball one. You can't forget about Damon over there at first. He's still got good wheels. On at first is Damon, nobody out. In the air to left center. And he will make the nice running catch out there as he had to travel a long distance to rein that one in. Yeah, good communication there as the center fielder backs off this one and lets the left fielder take charge. Bobby Abreu will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Damon leads, here's the pitch, and this is taken outside for ball one. And it's worth keeping in mind here that the Gambler's got one of the better pickoff moves in baseball. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and oh. Comes set, now the pitch. Two and one. Got away with that one there, but he's going to continue to struggle if he keeps leaving pitches in the center of the plate. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. Diving try there, but it gets past Guillen for a base hit. And he is safe on a close play. No hesitation that time, rounding second, as he's going to hustle all the way to third on the base hit. So first and third with one away, and that'll bring the dangerous Alex Rodriguez to the plate.
And here's the first pitch. And this is low, ball one. And if there's one guy in this lineup you don't want to fall behind, A-Rod's the one. And he can't get A-Rod to bite on it. It's 2-0. and Runners are at the corners with one man out. Foul ball straight back. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. And this is lined right back up the middle. And that's through for a base hit. In to score is Damon. But it's way late and he's in there. 19 pitches now in the inning and on a hot afternoon like this, it's easy to start getting worn down out there. He's got to come back and try to get out of this. Jason Giambi will stand in. He popped out in his last time. Throw over to first. And a dive, but he's back. A strike called at the letters. Looked high to me, but it's nothing in one. Called strike 0 and 2. Slider gets him swinging, two gone. Let's see where this thing is. Yeah, it's a little bit outside. That's a pitcher's pitch right there with two strikes. Hideki Matsui will step in, a ground out victim his last time. Matsui looked to be a bit early that time as this ball's pulled foul into the seats down the right field line. From the belt, the pitch. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Swing and a liner. Close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Three innings complete. The Yankees lead it two to nothing. Magli Ordonez will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. First pitch on the way. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Fudge Rodriguez will be the batter. Get this guy on strike, come And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Here it comes. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. Abreu has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. 
So two outs now for the Tigers in their half of the fourth. And here comes the dangerous Sean Casey to the plate. And the pitch. And that misses inside 1-0. Now a swing and a ball pulled high in the air and deep down the line in right. Oh, and he botches it. Around first, digging for two now. But he is in there as they can't get him at second. He's going to turn on this pitch. Have a look. Pulls it right down the right field line and glides in with a double. Craig Monroe will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. Fastball just misses for ball one. Swung on and missed. One and one. Sign from Posada. Now the one and one. Outside, two and one. Trying to backdoor him, but it stays outside just a bit. Gets under this one as this is hit high and pretty deep out there to center field. Drifting over to put this one away is Damon, and that retires the side. Tigers leave one. They trail things here two to nothing. Jorge Posada will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Way late on the fastball for strike one. Oh, and that's just strength on strength right there. Just working him away with the fastball. Now a ball lined to the left side. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Outside locator that time, but a good job to lay off. the pitch and here's one that barely misses off the inside corner two and two now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field and he will reach up to track this one down on the run as he's able to keep this one in his sights for the first out Robinson Cano will dig in. He popped out his first time. Here's the first pitch to him. In there, and it's 0-1. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Picked up there by Inge. On to first, and it's a quick start to the inning for Rodgers. Two away. Working the inside part of the plate that time. Pitchers love it when you go after those. Doug Minkiewicz will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch to him. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Hey. 
Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. Boy, seven hits in the ball game, all singles. Obviously, these guys didn't eat their spinach before this one. Johnny Damon will dig in here. And that misses for ball one. Swing and a high fly ball crossing into foul territory now. Monroe is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. The Yanks leave one. They're up two to nothing. Placido Polanco will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Here's the first offering. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And he reaches up to haul this one in on the run. Nice play for the first down. Brandon Inge will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1 and 0. Good idea trying to work the outside part of the plate with the hard stuff. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Jeter's got it. And a throw to Minkiewicz gets him two gone. Well, this one got up on him in a hurry, but he's able to stay with it for the out. Curtis Granderson will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. Yo, now here's the first pitch. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Oh. And this is hit well towards the hole. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. You'll get a good look where this thing is. This is not normally a guy that has a lot of success with the ball running in like that, but he came through. Carlos Guillen will step in, one for two in the ball game. First pitch on the way. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Yeah, and he'll look for something a little higher here. On a grade school swing there, it's one and one. A runner on first with two away. And that's taken by Guillen. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, and he'll lay off there and just take what's given to him. Swing and a ball line softly to the left side. Throw on to Minkiewicz gets him, and that'll end the inning. We'll see Derek Jeter when we come back, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Derek Jeter will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth.
Lays off 1-0. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. And he's starting to get up there in pitches now. Worth keeping an eye on. And he swings over the top of it, but chops it foul back to the backstop. Swing and a liner. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Well, Jeter gets a pretty good piece of this one, but it never got too far off the ground, and thus it never got out of the infield. Bobby Abreu will step in. One for two in the ballgame. Grounded foul. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. The last pitch, number 66 for Kenny. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Another 0-2 coming. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Well, nothing to be ashamed of here. He's just running into some good pitching here this afternoon. He'll bounce back. Alex Rodriguez will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Too low, 1-0. Good discipline there. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. Here's the 1 1. And this is low, ball 2. 2 and 1. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Jason Giambi would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And a fastball taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. Waiting for it is Maglio. And that will retire the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Five innings complete. The Yankees lead this one two to nothing. Gary Sheffield will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. And Matt, that thing will turn hard like that at the end when he's really throwing it well. fouled back now the 0 and 2 to Sheffield and that's swung on and fouled straight back Slider, good two strike pitch, but it misses one and two. 
And he's too smart a hitter to chase after that. Swings under this one, and he pops it high in the air to the right side. Minkiewicz is camped under this one, and he's got it for out number one. You'll get a look at his numbers to this point, and that's not too shabby. Five and a third innings, no runs allowed, scattering just four hits. He's been awfully tough to solve so far. Magli Ordonez will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. And a throw to Minkiewicz gets him two gone. Ah, and this is one of those situations as a hitter where you wish you could have a do-over. That was right down the middle. Fudge Rodriguez will step in. One for two in the ball game. Ball one and zero, and he'll wait for something a little higher that he can do something with. And a good heater as he just watches this baby. A ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Hard to get the barrel of the bat on that one. Good eye. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. And that's a fair ball as Matsui will try and track it down near the corner. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Second double for him on the afternoon as he just continues to see the ball well today. Sean Casey will step in. One for two in the ball game. Off the plate and low here. Ball one. And he'll think about inside outing that thing if it's over the plate a bit more. On the ground for A-Rod. Rowanda Minkiewicz will take care of him, and that will be that. One left for Detroit. They're still down. It's 2-0. Jason Giambi will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. Now a ball hit back up the middle. And Guillen will throw him out for the first down of the inning. Well, if he had a little offense behind him, he might be in good shape, as you can see by the numbers. Just two earned runs through five and a third. He's done his job. Hideki Matsui will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. And here's the first pitch. On the corner at the knees, 0 and 1. And you see the infield swung way around to the right here, and that opens up a lot of room on the left side of the infield. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. And, and with a few pitches to play with, let's see if they get him to chase something here.
Now the pitch. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire, ball two. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. And in fact, no throw as he's able to reach first base safely. Well, he's going to need a new piece of lumber after this one. You see that thing just splinter, but he's able to pick up the base hit regardless. So a runner at first now with one away, and here's the switch hitting Jorge Posada. Hit hard, but foul. And this ball will be chopped foul. Swing and a bullet to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And they're looking to perhaps break things open here in the middle innings with two on. They might be one extra base hit away from doing so. Robinson Cano will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. And he won't want to play around here. He'd love to get a double play ball if he can. He set, now the pitch. And now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. Granderson is there, two gone. The tag, and he is out at third. And with that, the side is retired. So it's no run on two hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We're through six full. The Yankees lead it two to nothing. Craig Monroe will stand in. He flew out his last time up. First pitch coming. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Just no way to even try and get extended on that fastball down there. Back-to-back -back fastballs here as he takes control 0-2. throw to first is in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven from the Bronx we are at Yankee Stadium as the Yankees in fact lead this one alongside Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler Matt Vaskersian here bringing you all the action Placido Polanco will dig in he lined out hard in his last time around And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. And this winds up inside for a ball, 2-0 and now. And in a close ball game, I think you let him throw you one here. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Pitch number 77 coming up here for Wong. Got 
Down the line, but this will kick foul. And looks like he might have cracked his bat there, and he'll get another. Here's a ground ball to first. And the sure-handed Minkiewicz has no problem here. Brandon Inge will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. Fastball just misses for ball one. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Matt, his pitch count's up over 75, so you have to figure they're going to start keeping closer tabs on him. And this will be chopped foul back to the screen. Here's one hit towards the hole. Throw on to Minkiewicz gets him and that'll end the inning. Seven shutout innings for him thus far as he's really been in control here. Seventh inning stretch time now here in the Bronx. The Yankees are out in front, two to nothing. Wilfredo Ledesma is on and he'll take over on the mound. Doug Minkiewicz will dig in. He singled his last time around. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Throw by Polanco's in time for the first out. This pitch looked to be below the knees, but he got him to swing down on it for the out. Johnny Damon will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Swing and a line drive. And that's in there. Base hit. Well, three hits, three singles. He's been nothing if not consistent, that's for sure. Derek Jeter will get another crack. One for three thus far. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Boy, they could really use a double play ball here. But a strikeout wouldn't be too bad either. Now a throw over. And he just does get his hand back in time. From the stretch. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Got to make sure at the plate you don't hit one on the ground here. And Jeter lays off here as the count moves to two and one. 
Maybe a good spot for a hit and run here, Matt. Let's see if they want to try something. Pause, now the pitch. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. And that's past the diving infielder for a base hit. But too late, and he's safe at third. A couple of guys on base here as they look to perhaps get a few insurance runs here in the late innings. So we've got runners at the corners here, one away, and here comes Abreu. On the ground is short. This could be two to Polanco. On to Casey, and it's a double play. That'll end the inning. One left for the Yankees, as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Curtis Granderson will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0. and And that's off the plate and high. 2-0 and now. He might be getting tired here because he's missing up now. Now the 2-0. That one's in there on the black, two and one. And he hasn't lost much of anything off that fastball. It's still getting up there in a hurry. And Granderson trying to work his way aboard. He's got it to three and one now. And sometimes young pitchers like this will try to overthrow that fastball. And he misses with it, ball four. And if there's one thing that'll drive a manager nuts, it's the leadoff walk. Yeah, he was really squeezed on that last one. Posada's gonna hustle out here to give him a little pat on the back. Carlos Guillen will get another crack, one for three thus far. Here's a fastball called for strike one. And a foul ball straight back. Struck him out, so he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. And just like the last time he was set down, he just didn't look comfortable up there during this entire at-bat. Gary Sheffield will try again, 0 for 3 thus far. Check on Granderson, now the pitch, ball one. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And past the diving infielder, that's a base hit. And he is safe on a close play. No hesitation that time, rounding second, as he's going to hustle all the way to third on the base hit. Kyle Farnsworth will be the new pitcher. So we've got runners at the corners here, one away, and we'll see how they pitch the dangerous Maglio Ordonez. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat, it's ball one.
Ooh, and he finds his spot there, one and one. And that's a pitch that's tough to turn around. Now here's the ball hit high and deep out to left center field. Matsui is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. Sacrifice fly in the RBI that time, as you got to figure he got the job done there. Fudge Rodriguez will step in now. A couple of doubles in three trips for him. Sheffield on at first. Here's the pitch. Farnsworth out of the pen certainly has the fastball. Nothing in one. Boy, in a one-run game, you don't want to be leaving that pitch there. Swing and a miss as they get ahead of Pudge now. 0-2. Ooh, that's some serious heat. Doesn't even matter where in the strike zone it is. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And that is past a diving Jeter for a base hit. Already a couple of doubles to his credit, and now you can add a single. He's having the kind of day that will help the old batting average, no doubt about it. Time is called now as we're going to get a pinch runner here. Good move to get a little more speed out there, knowing he's the possible tying run. Sean Casey will get another crack, one for three thus far. Farnsworth certainly has the fastball out of the pen. Nothing in one. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. As a look, now the pitch. Swing and he pulls the fastball that time high in the air toward fairly deep right center. Abreu will have room though as he makes the catch and the side is retired. So one run on two base hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Yankees lead it two to one. Vance Wilson will come into the game now on defense. Alex Rodriguez will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Low for ball one. And 2-0 and as this one's taken low. And this is fouled straight back. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Jason Giambi waits on deck. Fastball in there, three and two. Don't think he liked the call right there. A little too anxious here as this is pulled foul into the seats down the left field line. The 
Three, two, one more time. And he looks at one that misses for ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to get the inning underway. Well, as a relief pitcher, walking the leadoff guy is definitely not part of your job description. He needs to really bear down now. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And standing in will be the DH, Jason Giambi. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. With a good hitter up there, it's always good to get ahead in the count early. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. And he misses two and one. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. And this will plug the gap for Giambi. Could be extra bases. Throw in time as he's called out on a very close play at second. Don't think they like the call much. Let's see. Yeah, it was bang, bang, but the throw just does beat him to the bag. Hideki Matsui will step in. A base hit in his last time. Ground ball to second. This could be two. He in. On to Casey, and it's a double play. That'll end the inning. Down in order go the Yankees. They lead it 2-1. to one. And on to try and close things out here in the ninth. Who else? Mariano Rivera. Craig Monroe will stand in, needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Here's a cutter that's off the plate, one and one. Ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Well, good time to crank it up there, down by one. And, oh, I think I saw the umpire flinch, but he held back as that's ruled the ball outside. Three and two now. And there's the bread and butter from Rivera as the cut fastball gets him. And if you're looking for a reason why Rivera's been the best closer the past decade or so, there it is in living Technicolor. That cut fastball's as good as it gets. Placido Polanco will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. And Polanco comes up empty on that one as he falls behind 0-2. And, and 
quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Bring the key! Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. Throw in time to retire Polanco, and that's out number two. Two up and two down in the night so far. This one looks just about to be in the bag. Brandon Inge will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Now a hard liner, but foul. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. And if I'm on the mound, I go right back in there with a fastball. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. And they're down to their last strike here, so he'll need to fight to keep this game alive. Here it comes. Center field. Damon is there. Makes the catch, and the ball game is over. Ah, uh, Matty, this was entertaining to the very last pitch, but a great job here of getting the fly ball to end it. So they just do manage to eke out a one-run victory here, Dave, and let's have a look at our new era cap heads-up play of the game. Yeah, Matt, this one came back in the very first inning. It was just a single and didn't seem like much at the time, but it got him going here and put him on an early track to victory. Not a lot of offense to go around in this one, but what offense we did see came from this man's bat. He's our upper deck player with the game. Yeah, Matt, he was certainly a factor here. You see the two hits for him in the game, and he was certainly instrumental in helping his team win. So that'll just about wrap things up here in this one. For Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this afternoon. Once again, the final score, the Yankees come out on top 2-1. to one. This has been a presentation of MLB 07 The Show. For more information, log on to MLB07.com. So long, everybody.